What is this? It's some kind of a trick? No. A tribute. This is a recreation of my father's last meal. In fact, everything in this room is exactly as it was on the night that he died. <laughs> and believe me, Roger insisted on going out in style. That would be Roger. <laughs> this was my way, Holly, of keeping him close to me and keeping death from having its final victory. Well, I understand the sentiment, but we all have to die. But a man shouldn't have to die before his time. Not when he has so much to do and so much to give. <laughs> that was a little dramatic of me, wasn't it? You're Roger's son. I remember that music. Used to always calm Roger down when he was enraged. He he was enraged. A lot. Hey, I have something to show you. I do. Roger found it in the little shop window in Paris in Montmartre, and he just had to have it. Mm -hmm. Here. You wanted me to give it to you. Well. You know, I think you're right. Uh, what you said about it being so easy for me to focus on the monstrous aspect of Roger and not the good. It's just easier that way. You miss him? The Roger of the music box and the poetry and the grand gesture. Yes, I do. So, you're not sorry you came? No, I'm relieved, and grateful, and uh, sad for what was lost. <laughs> I think he would love you. Even more for that. You know, I can do it now. I, I can let go of the evil and let the good go on. Living. That's what's important. And this place, with all of its memories, it really belongs to the dead. And I'm ready to go now, to let go. Sebastian, why don't we go, go back? There is no going back, Holly. I don't understand. You you asked me to come with you from the boat, and, and, and I did, and what else do you want? What more do you want from me? It's not what I want, Holly. It's what has to be. You sound just like a Richard. Huh. Well, I will take that as a compliment. But look, no, you said you wanted to show me what he left for me. Why don't we go and find that, and then we can go? The treasure? Hmm. Actually, Holly, you're the treasure.